So this next two weeks, we're going to be using our, or doing our last unit, and our last unit is on trigonometry. Now, when you think of the word trig, it's got this word triangle, anometry. Well, many of you are in geometry right now, which is measurements of shape. Geo means shapes. So when we're in trig, tri, we're going to measure things with triangles. So before we start trigonometry, we're going to start this thing called circleometry. We're going to measure some things in a circle. So first, we're going to mark an angle in a circle, and we're always going to measure and mark our angle in the same place. We're going to start on the positive x axis. And if I want a positive angle, I'm going to go counterclockwise. And you might wonder why that was. Well, if you think about north, south, east, west, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So that's a positive direction. So that was established um, a long time ago. So if that's a positive direction is going counterclockwise, going clockwise is a negative direction. So that would just be a negative angle measure in degrees. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move out of degrees and we're going to start measuring things in this thing called a radius or a radian. That's where the word came from. So this string right here is the length of the radius of this circle. I was asked to cut it, so there it is. Now many of you don't have a printer. So if you're in Cami, you should be able to mark off a length with a string, a physical string, and then use that string, mark around, and use Cami to mark on the circle where that string was landing. And if I estimate this, I can see that it is in quadrant one. So we're also going to label these quadrants, and they are labeled in the same direction that the sun rises and sets. So this lands in quadrant one. It looks like it's about right here, so I'm going to label it one radian, and this is quadrant one. You're going to move to quadrant two, so you're going to lay the radius, and you're going to mark two, and you're going to continue down through quadrant three and four. Now you're going to stop at the final last radius. You need a complete radius. Leave the leftover. You're going to kind of estimate that. A couple other things about a circle since we're measuring circleometry. A couple things you need to know. This is a formula called circumference. Circumference is the distance around. We know the distance around a circle in degrees is 360. Your task is to find the distance around in radians. Now this circle is also called a unit circle. Why is it a unit circle? Because the radius is one unit. So I'm going to label this 1, 0. So this por or, um, ordered pair up here would be 0, 1. So the radius is one unit. Regardless on how long it is physically in centimeters, it doesn't bother me. I just know it's one radius. So you're going to want to use Cami to answer these questions. And this is assignment one.